Comments on Facebook by this university SRC president Nebo Dlamini on his admiration for Adolf Hitler has sparked fierce debate and strong backlash from concerned citizens and rights groups. Commenting on whites and the state of Israel in a Facebook thread, Dlamini wrote, I love Adolf Hitler. And every white person has an element of Adolf Hitler. Explaining what he meant by the comments, Dlamini confided in a Witz publication that he admired the German leader for his charisma and organizational skills. Meanwhile, Witz Vice Chancellor and Principal Adam Habib has indicated that disciplinary charges could be brought against the SRC president. Nebo Freedom Dlamini, who's the Witz SRC president, joins me in studio now. Thanks so much for your time on ANN7. Why did you write what you did on Facebook? Thank you very much uh, for having me, my sister, and for giving us an opportunity to actually say what we, we said, not what they say we said. Well, uh, this was just a, an innocent post that was then blown out of proportion by a few white uh, 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 students or individuals that I have on my Facebook. They blew it out of proportion and uh, they misquoted me, but that doesn't matter. The issue is now at hand. I love Adolf Hitler. And uh, why did I say those things that I said? It is not about the love for Adolf Hitler per se, but it is a debate about hypocrisy in the white minority, in the white supremacy, to, so to say. Because the white people make us to love those that they love. They make us to hate that, those that they hate. They want to make us, their enemies must be our enemies. It can't be. An enemy of them can't be my enemy. They must allow a, 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 a constructive debate on this matter because this is, this is a debate. Initially, it was meant to spark a debate, not these statements that they are making now of racism and anti-Semitism. We are used to those things. They use it every day to silence a dissenting view, to silence a black child. Because as a black person, you are not supposed to raise sensitive issues. You are not supposed to question your blackness and why you are where you are as a black person. We are where we are as black people because of colonialism, because of apartheid, which came with a white person. The same way Adolf Hitler, Adolf Hitler killed the Jews. The same way Jan van Riebe killed our people. The same way Cecil Rhodes killed our people in Cape Town and dispersed them. The same way Napoleon Bonaparte did the same. And Leopold, why are white people celebrating those people and okay. us not allowed to raise sensitive issues? Sensitive as it may be, it's on the table. Let's engage it. Okay, I just need to ask you, you're speaking a lot about racial dynamics and the sometimes problematic way that our history is taught to us and how we relate to people in South Africa. Do you think raising a debate about inequality um, is best done by someone who represents racism, sexism, homophobia, and genocide and murder? Well, uh, you see, you choose to the, the bad side of Adolf Hitler. You choose the bad side, you omit the good side. What about the good side that he revived uh, Germany? He took Germany from nowhere. He took Germany from the communist who had ravaged that country. He made Germany a powerhouse. Everyone in South Africa is driving a German car. Is it not the good side of Adolf Hitler? Why are we looking at the bad side? Because he committed... Gross did Cecil Rhodes commit a crime? Yes, but I'm, we're focusing on you and the post and what you spoke the about. And I'm trying to understand, okay. you're raising what seems like very valid issues. Thank the you. manner in which you are doing it appears to be very divisive and inflammatory. Do you take that? It's, it's not. This is a fair comment, freedom of speech, in an academic uh, 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 environment where bright minds must debate. Who must then, who comes with the moral judgment to say this one is uh, uh, inflammatory? This one, who comes with the moral judgment? This is an academic space versus an academic space where bad and good things must be debated without fear or favor. Why are we being silenced to raise issues? Why is uh, uh, Israel a no-go no area? When we talk what we like about Iraq, 
when we talk what we like about Palestine and Zimbabwe, but you can't touch uh, 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 Israel. When you touch Israel, you are called racist. We are called the, and, and anti-Semitism. We are used to these things. It's not scammy anymore. Let's debate issues. Okay. Is, is Benjamin Netanyahu not the same as Adolf Hitler? Let's come back to your post and the manner in which you are saying you did that. Do you think that writing that you love someone who has inflicted so much pain on generations of people was the best way to raise what could be a very constructive debate around freedom of speech, language, and people who we make our icons. You see, my sister, the question is there, the debate is there. It's now a matter of saying, why didn't you pose it this way? At the end, it was going to lead to where we are. There are many ways of killing a cat. When I want to propose love to you, I might take you to a movie, I might ask you directly, I might WhatsApp you, at the end, I am proposing love. Doesn't matter how I brought this issue up. Is Adolf Hitler that bad? Okay. If, as black people, we were made to forgive white people, white African men who slaughtered our parents, who, who subjected us to poverty, we were made to forgive them, why can't the Jews not forget, forgive Adolf Hitler? Because us, we were made to forgive a white man who came with hate and rage and came with no good. Up to today, your open hammers, your TPS are still sucking our economy dry with Sunlam and all what they stand for, the Deloitte and all this white uh, monopoly uh, okay. capital. We're nearly out of time, so I'm going to ask you very briefly. There has been a backlash. Your vitz um, is going to perhaps take this disciplinary action against you. You've obviously seen the um, backlash on social media. Is there any part of you that regrets what you have done, and what are you going to do going forward? Never. Regret, regret what? Regret question, raising sensitive issues. I don't regret anything. I feel sorry for those who are offended by these genuine comments. A black child today is still poor. A black child today is still subjected to poverty. A black child today in South Africa is still deprived an opportunity to enter institutions like Vets University. Now we must be worried about feelings of white Jews. Instead, I am concerned about the masses of the black people who are still under poverty because of white supremacy and white monopoly capital. Thank My problem much. is white mentality. That's all we have time for. Mnabot Lamini, he's the SRC president, joining us in studio there about his Facebook comments.